can you believe that after like a hundred videos of Lewis structures, water is the one that I haven't yet done in 2021? Well, here we are. Water, two hydrogens and one oxygen. I want to point out H is a non-metal. Even though it comes from the left-hand side of this staircase, you have to remember this is the only non-metal that is to the left of the staircase. Everything else is a metal. Hydrogen, non-metal. Oxygen to the right of the staircase, also a non-metal. That's important because non-metals will combine to make what we call molecular or covalent compounds, and those form by sharing electrons. It's not a transfer from one to the other. They share. Now, to figure out how that sharing happens, you should write out each of the atoms separately. Oxygen, 16 is its group number, so it brings six valence electrons with it. I would draw myself an O with one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And I need two hydrogens. Hydrogen's in group one, so it brings one valence electron. I'm gonna draw that here. Hydrogen with a one, hydrogen with a one. Now I'm just spreading those out a bit. What matters is that oxygen needs a full octet or eight valence electrons around it. Now it brought six. So where is it going to get the extra two? It's going to share an electron with each of the hydrogens in exchange for hydrogen sharing its electron back. This unpaired electron will combine, I don't know, they're going to pair up with the other unpaired electron. That now gives oxygen a seventh and this hydrogen gets its second. Now, hydrogen doesn't follow the octet rule. It's happy with just two electrons. It's called the doublet rule, but whatever. This hydrogen now has one, two electrons around it. It's happy. Oxygen now has six plus one, which is seven. Need one more. Don't worry, you've got an extra hydrogen here. Now, oxygen has eight electrons around it. Let me draw that for you with each of these pairs actually shared. You've got a hydrogen, and one of these electrons came from hydrogen, one of these electrons came from oxygen. Oh, see how those two electrons are actually shared between the two? Now, oxygen also had four electrons that didn't get involved with bonding at all, and an extra two bonded with that hydrogen. There, now it's clear that oxygen has eight electrons and each of the hydrogens has two. Perfection. Now I like drawing my bonding pairs with horizontal lines and perhaps you do as well. One, two, three, four non-bonding electrons there. Now I, ac I accidentally put this on an angle because I know what the geometry of this is. It's like a 107 degree angle or something like that. That's just a force of habit. You probably don't need to show that unless your teacher's asking you for the bond angle. This is my completed Lewis structure. This is also a valid Lewis structure. And this shows how the sharing happens to make the chemical compound. Congratulations, you've drawn the Lewis structure of water. Now you can do it on your own without me, probably. Best of luck.